Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, everybody. I'm Nathan Garrett coming at you from Zwift Community Live. And today we've got some Kiss Europe racing with a ladies only race focus as well as the open race focus, which most likely will be populated with a whole bunch of those people that identify as men. So um, we're going to be uh, hanging out today on Facebook as well as Twitch and YouTube. Uh, the race today will be, it looks like according to uh, ZwiftPower.com's race description, Kiss Your Plays Only, Keep It Super Simple uh, is what Kiss is all about. Race hard and race fair. Uh, the total mileage on the race looks to be 18 miles and 30 kilometers according to ZwiftPower.com. Six laps of the volcano counterclockwise circuit. It's about about a minute 25 to the start of the race we'll jump into the pens in just a moment does look like we've got 35 women uh signed well lined up so far with i which i believe a few more still out there getting their warm up on right now um for those of you who aren't familiar with kiss racing power-ups allowed at all times those are abilities you can gain by going through start finish banners or sprint banners or lap banners anytime you do go underneath those and don't have one you are able to grab a power-up feather power-ups arrow power Power-ups, uh, drafting power-ups, or experience if you happen to be unlucky and get some bonus experience towards who knows what if you're level 25 at this point. But well, that aside, all bikes are allowed, it looks like, uh, but no drafting on that TT bike, obviously. A category, 4.0 watts per kilogram or higher. B category, 3.2 to 4.0. Uh, 2.5 to 3.2 for the C category and 2.5 or under for the D category. That is all watts per kilogram FTP uh, for the categories that you want to find. So everybody has a place to race. All right, jumping into the women's racing. About 19 seconds to go to the start here. Um, and it looks like we've got 37 riders jumping in here i did get chat that we do have rebecca wyzak perhaps in the race two-time world champion as well as two-time australian uh, well, actually current reigning national champion of australia so we'll have to see if she has shown up for the race she was signed up for the race let's go ahead and jump on here it does look like she has joined so we're gonna have to see how this ends up turning out 6.8 watts per kilogram coming from rebecca right from the get-go i have a feeling that a few of the riders are gonna have their work cut out for them to date with Rebecca on the line but maybe being unfamiliar with the racing out on Zwift I am seeing that Rebecca has it looks like as far as her skill points over on ZwiftPower.com 2046 points currently uh, so we're gonna have to see if uh, it, you know how much experience that she does have in the racing of the world of Zwift but plenty of um, obviously firepower in those legs being a current Criterium national champion out of Australia here so watching we're definitely gonna keep an eye on Wyzak out here today moving toward the front end of the race it does look like Kirsty Pollitt as well as a Webster from the Vixen team P Vale there from KRT trying to go off the front with an arrow power up right from the get-go the women not holding up at all kicking it it looks like up in this five watts per kilogram looking for a break coming out of America here it looks like P Vale not a rider I'm super familiar with though we're gonna have to keep eyes on all of the names that have shown up today great turnout for the woman looks like women it looks like 40 plus Plus, so far, uh, that have shown up on the line. Kind of starting to come all back together, though. We are seeing Webster here from Vixen closing things down out of Canada. It does look like Sonia Whiteman there, also one of the riders that are starting to close things down. KRT have shown up in force. It looks like Kirsch to is out there. Uh, Sluz Parker is there as well. And then P Vale off the front there, not being chased down by her teammates, it looks like, obviously. 316 to the start of the men's race. We will be covering that as well. It does look like we have 47 in the A category. That that have shown up. Does look like a few vision riders are out there today. Also, we do have Frederic Hate here from the Friday Criterium. Her teammate Chris Amin just hanging on to the back here. 200 beats per minute. So KRT has shown up on the day. Uh, Angmo is out here from PTZ as well as I do see another PTZ rider just a little bit ahead here. It looks like Ingsley, Sony Ingsley has shown up. See, um, Reed is there as well. So plenty of the big hitters. Uh, Kirsten Falk, Vision Cycling is showing up. I do believe we do have Kirsty Hole. And then I did see Giannis Denning. So Vision is showing up uh, in force. So plenty of teams uh, working together here with a lot on the line. I am seeing a national championship jersey in there as well. Is that Cassie Baldy, I believe, uh, perhaps is out there. But I'm not seeing the name in the... Yes, she is there. It looks like riding for uh, the Watts per Kilogram team. Uh, Cassie Baldy, UK national champion, 172 beats 
per minute currently. Lots of heavy hitters here out in the women's race. It does look like Rebecca here sitting in pretty 169 beats per minute currently. Uh, the pro rider in and amongst the indoor specialists out here today. We'll have to see how this ends up turning out uh, amongst the women. It's going to be super interesting to see the firepower from Rebecca up against some of these uh, indoor specialists and how it ends up playing out. Obviously going to be super strong on the bike, but does she have the does she have the uh, skills that it takes in Zwift, though? As there does have timing, there is learning how to draft as well as um, learning how the game functions with the draft. There's a lot of technique when it comes to racing out on Zwift, if you're not familiar with it. Now, I mean, Rebecca being so strong, maybe at some point just be able to walk away from the rest of the women with the kind of power that she have. But we do see plenty of women out here who did end up at the both the UK as well as the NA Crit Series Finals, as well as a few of the CVR World Cups. So this this group here is absolutely just, I mean populated at this point with a lot of live finalists that have shown that they've got the power uh, to throw down here for the W out here today as well. So it's going to be interesting to see how this plays out. They've got six laps, six laps out here on the Volcano Counterclockwise course. As far as the Counterclockwise course goes, definitely going to be pretty chill each lap until they hit uh, hit the uphill grind toward the start finish line. Every lap that's where they're going to be waiting for most likely as we look at uh, C Reader 183 beats per minute. I think a few of the women out here just hanging on for dear life perhaps with those high heart rates uh cassie baldy here in the uk national champion making her way to the front 4.8 watts per kilogram solid uh looks like here keeping the pace fairly high 170 beats per minute nobody trying to get away just yet does look like a couple of breaks have happened though katie levi here off the back as well as jay thompson it looks like here frankenheim here all working together holmeson is there jay dole M shouting from the krt team and snaith uh, off the back there just a little bit. The men's race is going to be, uh, men's slash open race is going to be taken off here. 63 riders in the A race. We're going to go ahead and jump in with them as well uh, and keep eyes on how that goes down. While the women uh, are at a little bit more chill point here in the race, we'll watch the start of the open race here and then jump back in with the women as they do hit this uphill grind. But the men have gotten going here, and it looks like we do have D. Bain here. Fleetwood here from Vision Cycling starting to go off the front. It looks like 4.3 watts per kilogram. Noren is there as well. Rune Haman there. It looks like Soren Bay from Team Experimental is showing up on the day here. Uh, with T. Vest from Fusion. Fusion been showing up in force lately and uh usual crazy start here we'll most likely get a little bit of split in the pack as we usually do at the start get the uh front runners as well as the chase group we'll see if they can hang on bruno vieira is showing up on the day good to see him jay hansen is there as well austin bay our grass sinclair nielsen there it looks like hellquist there as well and then it is pavlov uh making his way to, to the front arrow power ups already being blown it looks like olsen here from norway 6.0 watts per kilogram right now on the front for that vikings team there's the start of the men's race let's jump back in with the women though as we definitely do have an attack on the um on the entrance, re-entrance to the volcano here. We do have Kirsten, uh, Kirsten Falk here from Vision Cycling on the attack out of Norway. Cassie Ball, the UK national champion, just hanging on there using that feather power up on the section of the course that it matters most, that little 4% gradient on the second kick. It's a it's a two-time kick here, two-tier two climb, and it's always the second half of the climb that usually uh, it really starts to break things apart. A four-second gap already here. Now, we did see Cassie there using that arrow, that feather power-up, most likely looking for an arrow power-up to save for the finish line. Christian Falk now coming through with a pole here, 293 watts, 5.1 watts per kilogram, 176 beats per minute currently coming from Christian here. Cassie hanging on to that wheel. They're going to start working together here, it looks like, here with a five-second gap. Webster here from Vixen trying to close it down. Holmes is there coming on through at 3.8 watts per kilogram. Pole now as well coming from Germany, coming around. Does look like we got a solid chase group of about eight or nine riders. Rebecca Wesiak here maybe just playing her cards right here with the drafting power up. 175 beats per minute and just hanging on to Ingsley's wheels you can see here. Part of the second chase group. Now it's all starting to come together a little bit and we've got a large chase group with only a four second gap here. Playing it smart a few of these riders it looks like here knowing that these will most likely not stick early on in the race. One lap down out of six. Five to go it looks like here. Two off the front but it's called 
Palmen right on down. I be think they believe it's not going to be going anywhere just yet at 4.3 watts per kilogram. Keeping it steady, but it looks like it's going to be closed down. Doesn't look like too many riders were dropped off from the attack there. Sony Whiteman here from PTZ. Out in no woman's land, though, at this point, 135 beats per minute. Most likely not going to be able to... Uh, bring this back together. She'll be working her, working her way back most likely to Holmson and Doyle and Thompson Chase Group. Yo-Yo is here as well. Said, that's enough for me from the Z-Sun team and it is all done. Chris and Min hanging on here. Solid. 200 beats per minute currently coming from here. It looks like hanging on to Isaac's wheel. It looks like Holmes now falling off a little bit. Maybe a little bit of a dropout it looks like here. 5 watts per kilogram. No! 0 watts per kilogram again. It looks like Holmes most likely having some sort of an issue because we're seeing 85 RPM, 85 RPM, but the power is dropping out. It's a 7-8 second gap, and now Z-Sun have dropped both of their riders out of the main pack. Too bad to see. We'll give her a ride on for her effort here with 11 seconds, and that pack just taking off at this point. I believe it might be all said and done for Z-Sun's hopes on the day for any kind of a podium. Maybe just have to work her way back to a chase group and trying to get the best that she can out of the day, or perhaps a TT effort solo for the rest of the day, but it looks like Z-Sun out of the race. Still holding a solid 4.1 watt watts per kilogram here, but it is going to be a crazy effort. It's still going out. 16 seconds, 17 seconds, most likely not coming back. Now it's going to be between her and Whiteman here, it looks like, for that position that they're currently hurling, most likely around that 20th plus place. Too bad to see Zisan out of the race. Chris Min, TFC here, still representing, I believe, Frederica Hate there, also in the TFC Kate kit there on the left-hand side of the screen up ahead as you can see so two tfc's uh riders here gonna be able to work together we'll see if carissa has any power to work together out here today rebecca wyzak there on the back end of the uh group here the in real life australian criterium champion currently reigning uh it looks like 3.3 watts per kilogram 170 beats per minute uh looking for that draft though you can see kind of falling out of it here and there having to hold 4.6 watts per kilogram looks like she's trying to play it smart and reserve some energy but uh needing to perhaps uh find those wheels uh, a little bit but you know it, it is definitely um a lot of times new, but I'm not sure, you know, I am seeing a, perhaps quite a few races, though, or at least a lot of points uh, for Rebecca out on Zwift uh, amongst the riders. It's pretty cool as far as the signups. You can go over to ZwiftPower.com and check the signups on the day. And with those signups, you are able to see um, what the uh, riders' current Z points are as far as their Zwift Power or Zwift points, Zwift, Zwift Power points, kind of ranks all the riders. The highest ranked rider actually amongst the group here will be Kristen Falk and then Cassie Baldy, uh, right around that 5,466 points for Kristen right now. Uh, Cassie Baldy, 5369. Then we are seeing Penny Priest is out there from the KRT team, 4,812 points uh, currently. Uh, Rebecca out there with about 2,046 points. We are seeing. Let me take a look real quick and see what her last race might have been out on Zwift. It does look like she did the WBR Volt there for a group ride. Connect group ride. Kiss Australia crit race, though. It uh, looks like back on October 30th with the 14th place. So uh, has been out there racing out on Zwift and then also took. Uh, quite a few W's in the Zwift Academy race circuit race though looked like she showed up to win those as we are seeing back on September 24th September 19th and September 7th a win a win and a win on those uh, on those races actually so Rebecca, Rebecca knows how to race it looks like uh, when she wants to show up and make it happen out on Zwift um, we are seeing uh, Claudia Barron with a couple of questions about the Z points done yet not sure Claudia that's a great question uh as i'm not positive and we can get uh if we can get anybody from zwiftpower.com in the um in the chat to let us know what's how the functioning with z points are uh how they're going down because i do believe they are still working on it so that's a great point radley says who knows so we'll have to wait and see how that ends up uh how that ends up being answered here we do have kiss zwift races in here which do a lot with zwiftpower.com so they'll most likely be able to answer a couple of questions in there allison how's letting us know go brt good luck to the ladies there from claudia as well fusion esports cycling uh powered by us at wahoo our two man uh, at the start simon nielsen will be looking for him uh jeb tobo as well as trolls vest 
on the day. Thanks a lot, Jeff. I appreciate the comment there. And we'll be watching out for Fusion Esports Cycling Team for sure. Giannis Denny is letting us know that she had a dropout. Vision is losing a rider from an internet dropout. We're hearing a few, a few of those on the day here in the women's race. Too bad to see uh, all those dropouts today. So... And uh, they, are, they are now, it seems, Philip Diner is letting us know, uh, tab back on Zwift Power. Yeah, I did see that, and I was uh, checking that out, so we'll definitely keep eyes on ZwiftPower.com for both the results now as well as the current Zwift Points standings. We're going to keep on trying to understand how those are playing out. So looking through here for the women's race, though, we'll jump back in with the men in just a minute here. It looks like it's all Grupo Compacto for them at this point. Uh, for the women, they keep on, it looks like, putting the pressure on here. There was a little bit of a gap that did open up for just a moment uh, with uh, Kirsty Hole and then Pole here as well. P Vale here from KRT up toward the front. As you can see, 4.3 watts per kilogram uh, coming from her. Rebecca Wyzek able to follow up. S. Holmes here from Z Sun, as we said earlier, falling off the back. Kristen Min hanging top here. 2.6 watts per kilogram. Usually uh, a rider who rides around the C or the B category. Hanging on with this A category. Top end riders, actually. So, so shout out to Carissa. Uh, well known in the community, actually, as an admin uh, amongst Zwift riders and a few others. So good to see her out there uh, getting a workout in here today. Cassie Baldy, 4.3 watts. Per kilogram, Frederica Haight, Angmo there. Looks like Collins all able to make this front group. So, Jared here from Viction actually. Viction actually taking up the front. Interesting to see. Perhaps controlling the race a little bit. 3.5 watts per kilogram currently from them. Both of them were at the front momentarily there. Maybe a little bit of uh, worry that something was going to go down or maybe setting something up there. It looks like nothing going anywhere just of yet. L. Collins from Draft actually out there. Looks like a little bit isolators i'm not seeing any other draft members there we need to get claudia out here the u.s national champion out on swift maybe for a little bit of support um ptz there with two riders though in krt with four as you can see though so definitely stacking the field here rebecca there solo it looks like uh riding uh unattached in game uh at least uh the current national champion criterion there coming out of australia so uh let's go ahead and check check on the men see how things are going for their race as uh it does look like they're making their way through for the second lap out on course here rune Hammond here for olsen for the vikings team out of norway it does look like eggblad there as well for the zhr uh, Blair there hanging on tough. Vikings have shown up in force, it looks like. At least two or three of them up toward the front. Golov just controlling the race toward the front here. B Hill now making his way as well. We're about to hit that two tier, it looks like, for the second time out on course for the men. And we do have a little bit of attack on the front here. Vest Soren Bay is going there as well. Fleetwood there, 8.4 watts per kilogram coming from him. Vision Cycling showing up in this men's race, as you can see. Cartwright there from the KRT team. Didn't see the Cartwrights out there. I'd watch out for KRT today. Cartwright always an instigator, as, as you can see off the front just a little bit super tt specialist now fleetwood trying to follow things up watson's there now but cartwright with a gap this is a threat they know what it is two seconds is off the front there lundquist now trying to follow there it looks like and pull the entire pack on up with them the arrow power-ups are starting to fly fleetwood now with a gap fleetwood not a rider who's known to be able to get away from the pack here maybe with a little bit of extra uh, power from all the racing that he's been doing recently, getting a little bit of fitness perhaps, or maybe going to fade here in a moment here. Car right now coming right on by. 7 watts per kilogram. Now fading for a moment there. 0. 0.9. What's going on with Car right? A little bit of jumps here. Now we do see Kuhn here going right on by of the Netherlands. And it, as you can see, no heart rate monitor on though coming from Q. No power meter actually. This is full on Z power off the front. Go, go, train now. Hans Hammond now. Uh, Haman here now. Olsen from the Vikings team trying to get right on up to the Z power rider there as he's looking for that auto bus ride not going to be happening uh as he's being caught and they are not getting that gap now blair now 5.4 7 watts per kilogram actually coming from blair from the afc as he tries to go right on by a few of these riders they do have a little bit of a gap things are stringing out as you can see here riders up and out of the saddle 8 watts per kilogram Haman here just trying to hang on as you can see 143 beats coming from blair not a very high heart rate there for the kind of watts that he's throwing out here and uh perhaps maybe 
Uh, just beats really low for a max heart rate or a little bit of something off with the heart monitor on here today. But now we do have Vest here, as we were hearing from the Fusion Esports cycling team, making their way to the front and still hanging on to the group. You now Cartwright making his way back after those attacks, looking to rest up. Adam Zimmerman's on the house, though, U.S. national champion coming from Team Draft. Not a lot of attacks from those who I would think are the heavy hitters on the day besides Cartwright. On the back, it is BRT Barry here for 163 beats per minute, and the gap has opened. As you can see, Jay Hansen here just trying to get back on terms at about 7.9 watts per kilogram momentarily. 181 beats per minute. The suffering is absolutely real for this man coming out of the US of A, just trying to hang on. Coming out of Japan, we do have Ishihi ARRT, as well as Lair Barkin. Uh, Lair Barkin? Barkin? Excuse me. On that absolute murdering of the pronunciation there out of Norway, now 4.7 watts per kilogram. Jay Bank here, AFC, now found it, finding himself off the back, unable to hang on with his teammate. DePaul is there as well out of Belgium, 19 seconds back, has also fallen off. Maybe they can find each other and work together to try and try and hang on at least to the gap that they do have over Z Stream is the only one off the back actually here so it looks like they are going to be uh, last and second to last and that's going to be the battle they're going to be playing out between each other here Zimmin in here from draft it looks like 167 beats per minute playing it pretty right here probably one of the favorites on the day especially with that climb at the end of the uh, volcano circuit always you know always a threat here he was able to make the final here uh, to the kiss crit series us uh, with a killer sprint every single race actually and absolutely walked away with that series here so Zimmerman be watching out for him to take the W out here today very familiar with but Cartwright has been showing up with a killer um, 1k sprint or half a k sprint going from a little ways out actually lately and a couple of upsets there from Cartwright in recent days here. Sinclair here, KRT also, Cartwright's uh, teammate, it looks like, just keeping things steady toward the front, uh, but actually maybe trying to keep things calm toward the front. So we are seeing Nielsen here off the front from Fusion, eSports cycling team with D. Bain and then S. Bay here not following up here. Now Zimmerman making his way to the front. So a lot of the big hitters may be thinking that after those initial attacks from Cartwright on this section of course, maybe believing that they need to pay attention as the heart rates have been risen uh, from a few <laughs> of the uh, recent attacks here. At least my excuse was last night be okay. I have no idea what that's supposed to mean, Bob McGlue. Uh, excuses from last night between him and Pete. Uh, you never know exactly what people are uh, getting after here. But back in with the ladies, though. These boys are about to hit the uh, two-tier once again, but the ladies are on their way uh, to, uh, I believe, their fourth lap out on course. Three and a half laps in here. Hole here from Vision holding on tightly to the wheels, as you can see. It doesn't look like Kristen Falk right on her wheel as well. P Vale KRT still in amongst a draft here. Uh, hanging on the front end of the race here. KRT definitely controlling things. We do have Kirsty Pohl, it looks like, as well as Vale and uh, C Reed doing the brunt of the work. 183 beats per minute currently coming from them. Uh, and it looks like Jared here from Vic. Uh, also up toward the front. Rebecca Wysiak here, as you can see, off the back for some reason. Not sure what happened here between her and Carissa Min. Uh, maybe Wysiak out there for a base training ride because this is, uh, I, I believe, the power is there. <laughs> Uh, to go with the racers uh, out there today. Carissa here now taking a pull at 3.7 watts per kilogram working together with her. We missed out on what exactly happened here. Uh, apologies on that. Maybe we can go back through the replays and see exactly where it had fallen off. I believe it was most likely through the last time through that two tier. So Inslee here now taking on uh, the caboose of this train right now as we're seeing Frederick Hate there, the TFC teammate of Carissa most, like, most likely thinking, man, I wish Carissa was here to work with out here today as she has been dropping off, dropped off along Rebe alongside Rebecca. It looks like Rebecca and her are going to be working together though. Get a solid workout in here. 166 beats per minute. I do believe it is a tempo ride out here today for Rebecca and mainly about the training here. Collins here up toward the front. 4.4 watts per kilogram from draft. It looks like a little bit of an up of the pace momentarily. A couple of riders trying to hang on toward the back. We do have F. Emma here. Actually, one lap down. We'll give her a ride on as they come by 
and uh, a little bit of a motivation to finish up the race out there today as fast as she possibly can out there in No Women's Land TT in it. Maybe she can jump on with Rebecca and Carissa as they do come through. But cool for Carissa out here hanging on to the uh, two-time world champion ch uh, champion's wheel and working together with her to finish up their race. And that's what it's all about here, the encouragement of the community getting better together through uh, the power of bicycles and Zwift and the massive multiplayer online game that we are uh, all enjoying out here to day but it's also about the w and krt out here looking for the w setting up for this climb this is actually it looks like extremely calculated as they head into the two tier here veil now 4.0 watts per kilogram kind of leading things out um we are seeing reed there as well but now vision here starting making their way to the front looking for that uh jump on the climb vixen going right along with them as you can see kirstie hole here leading things out it looks like for Kristen Falk. Kristen Falk now starting to come around. One of the strongest riders we've ever seen amongst the women out on Zwift. Angmo now starting to fade climb, it looks like. As I do not believe Angmo, one of the stronger riders when the climbing starts to be, uh, happen. Now we're seeing the power-ups. Drafting power-ups being popped here, making sure nobody's able, able to get away. Cassie Baldy, though, UK national champion, riding for the Wasp Kilogram team, it looks like, trying to come on by. Now leading it out will be, it looks like, Jared uh, here. Uh, making her way to the front. Now, Kirsty Hole, though, leading things out 3.1 watts per kilogram, 169 beats per minute. It's always about the second punch to the top, though, and it looks like it's going to be Webster. Now, Vixen making themselves known at the front end of this race, coming out of Canada, and Sliss Parker there as well. KRT now leading things out, always swapping at the front here. Nobody really want to make any attack. It looks like just trying to make it very difficult. The race of attrition out here today. KRT with this little kick to the top here. Collins now 4.0. Oh, Webster with a solid counter there. 5.3 watts per kilogram coming from her. And who's going to be the next one across here? Four to go, it says there. It's going to be three to go halfway through the race at this point. We've got another 20 minutes of racing or so on the day for the women. Three laps to go, three laps to go. As we are looking at Angmo here, just falling off. Ingsley just trying to hang on. PTZ working together. Angmo waiting for the teammate to get to the wheel. This might be the moment of truth for her to hang on. 169 beats per minute here currently for uh, Inslee. Angmo now able to give her, her teammate a wheel there. Able to just claw her way back and hang on to that wheel here. Now, things are calming down a little bit. No counterattacks. Nobody trying to make it too difficult through this section of the course. As it looked like a couple were struggling a little bit. Now KRT again controlling the front end of this race. All back together. It starts to slow down a little bit. So this Parker there though. KRT 3.8 watts per kilogram. I keep on saying it's slowing down a little bit. And then immediately we get right back into that 4 watts per kilogram. Definitely not keeping it slow on the day here as i'm seeing duan green let's, let's go ahead and hear i love the predictions here uh using metric sim cycling is done in cams camates keep the english system for aviation they're flying out here though seagov they're flying i mean th this this is aviation okay <laughs> see i love the comment there uh, a lot of times i do um we are out on the uh we're actually on my wife's account to jump into the women's race so she has been using the uh she has been using our uh english system for the flying the women are flying out here this is aviation actually that's my excuse uh, i believe i appreciate the comment out there though uh ellen tarquino Gemma anchor is now seeing as well go vixen tarquino good to see ellen out there one of the finalists out in the north american crit finals actually saying go vision Dwayne grain coming out and saying calling the women's race one two vision falk and hole we'll have to see how that ends up playing out let's hear your predictions for the women's race love to see it um and we are seeing claudia saying anytime i don't make the front group uh can i say it was just a training day claudia is saying out there of course claudia that's what i say uh as i did race last night actually and uh all i said was pop uh as i tried going with a few of your teammates off the front out on the uh, a couple of draft team members, uh, I believe it was Cunningham and M.O. I'm not sure who M.O. is, but uh, we were out there racing last night on the New York course. And I got I, I held on for two laps. Nathan's out of shape and tried going with them on that 8% gradient up and over the top in that left-hand turn. And uh, went with them till over the top. 
There was no continuance. Nathan went full nuclear. And I just stopped pedaling. It was over. It was over. I think we hit 190 beats per minute, and uh, all of the matches were burned. I got about a half hour of, of muscle memory in me from racing, uh, and uh, that's about it. And I can go with just about any move for about a half hour right now, but it was all said and done. But enough about me here. Reed here now at the front from KRT. 183 beats per minute. It does look like things have called down in the, in the women's race. Let's jump back in with the men and see how things are playing out. Right back uh, in with them as we can see. It lo oh, this is actually the women's race. Right back in with the men, and we've got the amazing metric system. Just received Gov, as you can see here. Kuhn's out the front here, but he's on that go-go Power Rangers, it looks like there. So Golev here actually trying to show, close things down for the Vikings now to get that auto bus, but the auto bus out the front will not be able to win the race here. M Dam there coming out of Denmark now, 3.8 watts per kilogram, able to hold on to that wheel. Chapman, as we can see, just a little ways up there, actually going to get lapped. We're going to have uh, a few obstacles out on course here in just a moment, and that may cause things to be a little bit of a struggle for some of those riders to hang on to the wheels of those who are around them. Always a little bit of a struggle uh, to find a wheel as you do go through, go through some of the lapped riders in the C, D, and B categories. We'll have to see if anybody does attack through those packs and tries to sneak off the front. A lot of times that does end up working out. Nielsen here going into a watts per kilogram. Here comes the orange numbers in the men's race as they start to just fly through the lapped riders looking to try and break things apart here fusion now 5.1 watts per kilogram coming from them as you do see uh esports um esports cycling team on the attack and it is going to be Bergen here from the Vikings as well uh, toward the front. So Vikings and Fusion here maybe working together at this point. Uh, a lot of Norwegian and Danish riders, perhaps a little bit of communication between them. But Team Experimental with Dovin here now making his way to the front. Davis is out there as well out of the US of A. So Experimental also on the attack it looks like here. And I didn't even actually realize they were uh, they now showing up a little later in the race here, perhaps reserving for when the legs of some of the competitors have been softened up there. 5.8 watts per kilogram coming from M. Davis. Team Experimental, 19.6 uh, kilometers in, now choosing to make themselves known. Soren Bay is out there. I thought he was isolated, but no. At least two other riders from Experimental out on the course today here. Uh, as we do look through the pack here, two seconds back, it is going to be Anderson from the Vikings, and then Zaki here. Looks like they are going to close it down. Bruno Vieira showing up there. Good to see him out on course coming from the P. Uh, actually, no, two guys. Uh, switching teams out there today, it looks like. And uh, coming out of Portugal. So good to see him out there in that Fondo kit, actually. That's a sick uh, setup there with that Fondo kit and the orange bike, actually. Uh, but it does look like it's all back together. But what was the price to pay to bring that all back together? Because this was done at a moment in the race when they are about to hit that two tier. If the heart rates are high at this point, it's going to make things extremely difficult to bring back if the attacks do end up happening here. And anybody who did rest up enough, did use the draft from a few of the other riders at this point, is going to have plenty left in the tank. And Cartwright, look at the heart rate, completely set up and ready to go if he carries speed into this and goes full-on 49 kilometers per hour they're already flying here he comes 4.6 making his way to the front seclair there as well from krt most likely some communication in the team car at this point i'd be keeping an eye on car right here things are already breaking up at the back they're about to hit the two tier one going out the front though as you can see it is going to be a rider out of denmark gonna have to move forward to try and find who that is it does look like storm bay perhaps on the attack there here comes Cartwright though we called it there it is 11 watts per kilogram from Cartwright looking for the attack off the front there. there. It looks like 20k in total at this point and this is the moment it looks like to try and get away. 9.3 watts per kilogram. Immediate two second gap. Dovin here. Team Experimental trying to come across. D-Bane's there as well as we look behind. Who's going to be able to chase this down? D-Bane it looks like here. 154 beats from here. There's an arrow power up there. Is it Fleetwood? Throwing down the arrow power, but it's just to hang on. The pace is so incredibly high. B Hill coming out of Australia here, trying to close it down as well. Cartwright 5.7 watts per kilogram with Kuhn, the auto bus, though, making things a little bit frustrating. Going out the front of 10 watts per kilogram. Cartwright maybe going to be able to follow up that auto bus on the go-go Power Rangers there, but it's going to be Bay and Norin there toward the front. B uh, P Blair there from the AFC there trying to come across. It looks like it may be able to drop a few off. This has been a crazy attack. 45 kilometers per hour up and over the top. 
of this climb now at this point. Moving backwards, it's going to be Anderson. Vest off the back. Four laps to go. And it's going to be no man's land for them. Race WBR there from Howard now. 172 beats from here. Just trying to hang on. PR's being set around this lap at a 453. Absolutely flying. That's what two attacks, two attacks around this course will do an attack on the downhill on the other side and then on the uh a bat and uh, through the uh through the volcano on the other side and then we saw the attack on the downhill of the two tier on the opposite direction and then on the uphill in the two tier toward the finish line man and it things just get blown apart and it looks like t-vest from uh fusion esports cycling team has been dropped off vikings losing one as well with b anderson there it looks like so adam zimmerman hanging tight there 181 beats per minute put on a little bit of a back foot there up in that 180s though pavlog race wbr now hanging tough it looks like with b hill right on his wheel but taking up the front end of this it does look like it is going to be uh the vikings here as well as chuzinski actually not the front end of the race we are starting to get a little bit of the lap riders here and cartwright here not letting up getting off the front by about one second here using that pack of uh lapped riders to try and sneak away off the front maybe get stuck in the draft there that's uh you know that is definitely a thing out on zwift uh where you can get stuck in the draft with a few of the riders that are are being lapped the sticky draft, the reality of that, does become an obstacle sometimes if you do not keep the watts per kilogram too high. It has to be higher. When you're trying to rest in that pack and you come on through uh, the um, when, you, when you come on through a lapped rider there, but you're trying to rest up in the wheel of the other riders, you might end up at a watts per kilogram that the lapped riders are hitting. And that's where you get stuck. Golev here now trying to get off the front, it looks like here. Nine watts per kilogram from him. Now, if you are watching the broadcast and you are a part of the race, do know that CQ, who's off the front, could to him getting amazing workout cannot win the race today he is on z power he cannot win the weight race today a lot of the riders who are more experienced in the pack are most likely trying to let him go just so you know they are most likely trying to allow him to get away off the front so that z power does not interrupt the race as a lot of times a rider who does get off the front in z power is looked at uh, thank you for showing up amazing great workout but at the same time it becomes an auto bus off the front um, that uh, some of the riders, you know, most likely will have a little bit of a protest at the end about using that wheel if you do. So just some warning there real quick. Now, cut right here, not letting things up, though. 6.4 watts per kilogram, always the man lo looking to integrate here. 163 beats per minute, not even up into his threshold just yet. So definitely plenty of firepower uh, left in the legs of Cartwright. A couple now dropping off after attack and attack in the cap, keeping things crazy fast. 54 kilometers per hour currently amongst these racers. Movement our way backwards here to try and find perhaps where the uh, split was happening. I did see a little bit of a split, but too many riders at this point to make our way backwards. Uh, Nora in there, it looks like, uh, trying to follow things up at about 3.4 now. Kuhn still off the front there, 8 seconds as you can see. Back in with the women though as they do attack the two tier, uh, it looks like as they are coming into, I believe, the finish of their, uh, I believe it is their fourth lap out on course here. Inslee on the attack here, but it is going to be Christian Falk. The prediction they're coming from Dwayne Grant, the teammate of his, might be correct. As Cassie and Kristen off the front. This is an extremely familiar situation. As I believe we saw this in the Kiss Crit finals, actually, between these two riders, uh, European edition. Uh, for a lot of those races, these two would get off the front together. And just TT, uh, TT uh, team time trial almost, even though they're on opposite, uh, not on the same team, but they would work together to walk away from the rest of the group. Extremely familiar situation, I believe, for both of these riders uh, as they make their way through the two tier here. Uh, as we do look through it, there's going to be one to go, one to go actually out on course here. So we're going to stay with the ladies as they finish up their final lap here out on course. Webster here, 2.3 watts per kilogram from Vixen. Vixen in there for the final lap. KRT still hanging in. Kirsty pulls there. Collins from Draft is there as well. Angmo there. Falk is still in there. Inslee, it looks like. Angmo, Sluice Parker, it's going to be Reed there as well. Unattached there, it's going to be Grogan, who's just hanging on and not actually a part of the race. Frederica Hayden is out there from the TFC team. Plenty of teams still out there today. So, TFC, PTZ is in there. Watts per kilogram. KRT, as you can see. Draft is in there as well. Vixen and Vision all showing up for the race. Is there no unattached rider, actually, in and amongst the group here? That'd be absolutely amazing if all these riders are actually a part of a team. And I believe they all are. Absolutely awesome to see that all the women in this league group are part of the community and have found a team to race for out on Zwift. Who's it going to be, though? What's the prediction between the women out here today? 
we're going to go ahead and uh, make a quick, I believe we can only get four uh, on the broadcast, actually. So um, <laughs> I don't want to show any kind of favoritism or anything like that. But uh, as we do create the poll, I'm just going to go with what I know about the racing out on Zwift. So who, team, which team is going to win is going to be what it's going to be. Which team will win amongst the, amongst the, uh, amongst the women out here today, uh, women's race. And uh, as we do get that going here, <laughs> we're going to just make the predictions based off of what we do know about the riders out here today. I'm going to be throwing out there the watch per kilogram, although riding solo, definitely going to be an option out there. Cassie Baldi obviously has earned it out there uh, amongst the women currently holding on to that UK National Championships kit. Uh, KRT obviously has the numbers out there today, but can they make that happen? Not sure that they have the, um, the firepower, but they definitely... Definitely have the numbers. Vision, obviously, with Kristen Falk as well as Kirsty Ho out there, going to be a threat on the day. Then the question is between PTZ Vixen uh, out there, you know, amongst amongst the women who uh, are left. I believe we're going to be going with uh, the Vixen team as they have definitely been uh, toward the front end of the race. TFC, they're pretty isolated. A shout-out to them, but I'm not sure that Frederica will have the sprint. So let's go ahead and he see who you think is going to win on the day. It has been published out there. Let us know. It should show up if you are watching on Facebook. If you're watching on the on uh, a laptop or on a computer on a PC or Apple, it should show up on the upper right hand side of the broadcast. If you are watching on an, on uh, a mobile device, it will show up at the bottom of the uh, at the bottom of the broadcast. I'm going to go ahead and get my vote in as we do have a half a lap to go, half a lap to go amongst women. Engel here from PTZ trying to prove me wrong and on the attack up toward the front end of the race as they do make their way halfway point, halfway point, just a few k to go, a few k to go at this point. Colin some draft here now making her way to the front did not come mention draft either collins i believe isolated as well part of the reason why i did not call it out i'm going to be a little biased though in my vote and i'm throwing down provision out there today christian falks can be my prediction uh we'll have to see if that does end up playing out there on the day sluice park here with krt krt starting to dominate the front end of this race maybe looking for the setup and the lead out it's going to be about power-ups out there today as well we did see lots of power-ups being thrown on the laps each time so it's interesting to see how that's going to end up playing out here today. Still plenty of time to vote. We are seeing 13% for uh, for watts per kilogram. Cassie Baldy. KRT holding down a 36%. Vision here with a 40% vote at this point. Vixen, 12% vote. So I have a feeling that's plenty of draft members saying, where's my vote? Just go ahead and put your vote there in the comments. We'll make sure to say something about it, though, if you were correct at the end of the broadcast. We're going to keep eye on Collins, that's for sure. Not a rider I'm super familiar with, actually, for the sprint. And so we'll have to see if it does end up playing out for her. Parker here now making her way to the front. Vale now still controlling things from KRT. Who's going to win the women's uh, women's race out here? Ladies only. Kiss Racing, as you can see. We'll give Vale a ride on for an encouragement at this point as they do make their way toward that two-tier. Here they come. Corker's out there from Vixen. Looking to perhaps be a lead out for the Vixen team there. Maybe a little bit of a tactic. We'll have to see if they are able to hang on to the wheel as they do come through. Collins now 4.6 watts per kilogram. But here comes Cassie Baldi, the watts per kilogram from the watts per kilogram team. UK national champion there with 7.5 watts per kilogram. Just getting it started, it looks like. Not even a serious attack now. Now we're getting into 8 watts per kilogram. 6, as we can see here, percent gradient as they do make a kick up. Kristen Falk now, this is the familiar situation. Kirsty Holt now going from Vision Cycling. Can she hang on. We'll give her a ride on if she tries to here. Cassie Baldi there as well. Webster now just trying to hang on as you can see. Collins from Draft with a very early power up. Does not look like it's going to be happening for Draft out there today. Watch McKillian verse. Vision cycling on the front. Arrow power up verse. Arrow power up. Cassie Baldi now. Kristen Falk. Nine watts per kilogram coming from Kristen Falk now off the front. Can Cassie hold on to the wheel? It's going to be about the draft at this point. Not going to be happening it looks like as the gap has opened up. Eight watts per kilogram. Kristen Falk. Vision cycling off the front. 7 watts per kilogram there coming from Cassie Baldi, but I'm not sure she's going to close it down. It looks like the gap's opened up. It's said and done. Kristen Falk for the win, followed up by Cassie Baldi, and then I believe it may be draft that might have come. I believe it was Vision Cycling, actually, the next one. 
across the line. We'll have to wait and see for the replay as we bring that in in just a moment here. But we are heading back into the men's race as they are about to make their way through uh, on their laps. What an effort there from Kristen Fault. What a sprint, though. Vision Cycling throws it down on the day. What a familiar situation, though, between the women. As, as you can see, always Kristen Fault, Cassie Baldi, the uh, the the efforts there, the amazing amazing power that those two women have. They're always able to get away in the sprint. We've usually saw them off the front though in the uh, European finals, uh, Kiss Crit uh, series actually. But looks like they were just holding off, looking for some teamwork actually between the Vision Cycling members. And it looks like Kristen Falk was the selected sprinter, as Kirsty I believe was able to hold on for third. But we'll have to wait and see. Amazing racing all around, though, between all of the women. we got two laps to go, though, for the men. Things are fairly calm here up toward the front, as you can see. Nobody really wanted to throw down just yet, as it's uh, fairly, uh, you know, uh, fairly calm at this point, as this is one of the sections of the race that uh, I believe the riders are going to just be trying to reserve. You know, with two laps to go, they're going to be feeling like there isn't a whole lot to do any longer uh, between the, you know, between the attacks that are going to be actually able to get away. A one lap attack is a reality that can sometimes play out, but um, two laps off the front, usually you're not going to be able to stay away at that point. I think that's what a lot of these riders are most likely thinking and why we're not seeing too many. Um, too many flyers off the front at this point, though. But what an amazing race we just saw. Let's go ahead and real quick, as things are calmed down amongst the men here, let's go ahead and see if we can find uh, the replay there of that women's sprint as they absolutely killed it out there. And uh, it does look like we do have that. We can bring that right on in. Let's go ahead and see how things did play out for those final few K, actually. So it does look like we do have, uh, here's Kristen Falk's attack there. Nine watts per kilogram. There's the arrow power up, as you can see. Cassie Baldi trying to close it down. 7.6 watts per kilogram. 182 beats per minute, though, that we are seeing from Kristen. Still in the orange numbers she came across there. Kirsty Hole, it looks like, holding on to 5.3, but Collins, it looks like, perhaps just coming across at the right time. It does look like Collins was able to pull it off there at the end with eight watts per kilogram at the line, actually. So I I believe Collins was third place on the day. We'll have to wait and see for the uh, official results from ZwiftPower.com. But Collins, absolutely amazing result there in third place, coming by just at the right second there to take down that last podium spot, it looks like. We'll be checking uh, ZwiftPower.com uh, frequently here for the results. And it should be up here momentarily as we do not have it just quite yet. But as soon as they are up and, and generate, actually, no, we do. Kristen Falk there, Cassie Baldi, and yes, Lucy Collins just barely able to come. Actually, Kiersey Hole losing three positions before the line there. It looked like she had pulled it off for third place, but right at the last second. They were actually separated. <laughs> oh, my gosh, this is insane. Between third place, Lucy Collins. And it looks like all the way to eighth place to Angela Webster, they're separated by less than a second. Less than a second between third place and eighth place out there on course. Kristen Falk taking down first place. Cassie Baldi, it looks like a little less, about a second behind her there, it looks like in second place. And then it was Lucy Collins uh, hanging on for third. Penny Priest there from the KRT team uh, taking down fourth place. Solid result though for KRT with uh, fourth and fifth place. Claire Reed there. And then Kirsty Hole falling back to sixth at the line. Got the job done there for Kirsten. Most likely arms in the air and a big congratulations to her teammate. Vixen there throwing down for seventh and eighth place though on the day. PTZ just a little ways back with Steve Engel. Frederick Hate there as well uh, throwing down for 10th. Uh, we'll try and get the results in there in, for you in just a moment uh, from ZwiftPower.com, directly from the browser, as soon as we can. It does look like, uh, yeah, we'll be able to bring those in in just a moment. But let's go ahead and keep eyes on the men's races. Things are starting to heat up, as you can see. They're about to enter their final lap in just a moment here. A couple of little bit of attacks, it looks like, on these downhills here. Uh, Soren Bay, B Hill, Blair Cartwright now, as you can see, looking for that one lapper. 10 watts per kilogram, throwing down with the draft power up, actually. So... 
looking to find that arrow power up as he does come through the lap banner here. Doving here from Team Experimental, maybe trying to go right along with him. If they do get two or three off the front, this could stick for a one lap go, but then it's going to be the question of whether or not they want to have some infighting amongst that pack if they do get off the front here. Going to be very difficult to make it happen, but we do have it looks like a solid gap actually. Three seconds, four seconds. If this goes out to five seconds, six watts per kilogram here from Cartwright, you can see this is real because there is the B and C riders here. A lot of pack fodder to go through at this point and he's got the gap here cartwright krt making himself known one of the one of the, the most accomplished racers out on swift has made so many finals 7.3 watts per kilogram from tim cartwright here the chase is on we don't see anybody behind him really able to come through that pack now at this point our grass 4.6 watts per kilogram from him we're going to give cartwright the ride on here as he does come through i believe it's one lap to go one lap to go amongst these riders here davis now as you can see Hamin now trying to close things down where are the rest of the riders here able to do this young is in there the python making his way to the front from innovation didn't even know he was in the race keeping it quiet all the way up to this point one to go as blair's get here at 3.7 watts per kilogram maybe trusting that cartwright's going to come back but it's 5.8 watts per kilogram on the front cartwright going for that one lapper all the way through six watts per kilogram he can hold this kind of power all the way to the end but does he have it in the legs after all those attacks here we are seeing it looks like team sz making his way to the front now we have lundquist activist uh activitas here now making his way to the front 156. Cartwright again attacking and attacking. Seven watts per kilogram. Not looking for that sprint. Trying to get away. Trying to break the pack behind him here. Trying to make it so painful that there's nothing left in the legs. But he's got to take down the legs of every single rider in that pack. He has to break them all and it's not happening. As Bergen comes through here from the Vikings team closing it right on down. 3.9 watts per kilogram. Rune Hammond here from the Vikings as well. Vikings with two teammates up toward the front. Now just trying to control things here 144 there from Olsen this might be a rider that can make things happen Davis now though team experimental making his way to the front Bergen's there as well interesting to see how many riders have actually made this front group at this point after all these attacks here the Danish national champion still in there as you can see uh, Soren Bay on the left hand side of the screen there with that Danish flag on the back riding for team experimental SK Rye up toward the front again Olsen for the Vikings now hanging on an SK Rye kit though good to see him out there in that representing well known team out on Zwift one of the first jerseys actually for those who do not know to get into the game SK Rye and Vision right around the same time actually that they were put in game speaking of there is vision right next to him fleetwood uh making his way to the front usually unable to take a podium maybe it'll be fleetwood's day we talk about it every week is it going to be fleetwood's day is it going to be fleetwood's day we'll have to see a couple of dropouts perhaps to make that happen <laughs> shots fired just kidding fleetwood make it happen out there fleetwood Drusinski now from team poland now 3.5 watts per kilogram toward the front as you can see uh thorks and dbr now making his way to the front m dam riding unattached it looks like here actually no maybe riding for the esports cycling team uh, as he does have the kit on, or perhaps just wearing the Wahooligan kit because it's the Wahooligan kit and he's riding a Wahoo. But uh, definitely the same kit as the Fusion Esports Cycling team is wearing on the day. Nielsen still hanging in there. Large group, so many riders. Half a lap to go at this point. Sinclair now making his way to the front. Who's going to position themselves correctly and who's going to have the power? That's really what it comes down to. The kick up the first tier and then a little bit of a flat hang on and then the second kick to the line. It will be about arrow power-ups as we saw cartwright use that arrow power-up perhaps not going to be a whole lot left in the in the legs with that attack and we saw that he only had a drafting power-up as he came on through so without an arrow power-up he could he would have to get really lucky actually coming through and perhaps he did but uh, it's going to be all about that arrow power from Cartwright, I believe. Is there's going to be a lot of riders who are plenty strong in the sprint that are going to have that power up to battle it out to the line. Here we go. We're heading into the final K now. Turnstone making his way to the front. B Hill on the attack there up to the front. Then it's going to be, uh, it looks like Vikings now. 7.9 watts per kilogram. Already wrapping things up because DBR here, the Danish rider now. 6.9 watts per kilogram coming from him. Bergen's there from the Vikings, as you can see now. Uh, it is going to be the SC rider, though. Lundqvist just hanging on, playing it pretty here. 156 beats per minute. Bergen here still trying to uh, uh, heat things up to the front, but here comes Sinclair. KRT from way out. Half a K to go or so, and Cartwright here going to try and follow up the KRT riders. Wheel now. Cartwright 10 watts per kilogram. Can Sinclair hang 
onto this gap. He's got a two second gap. Let's give him a ride on. What an amazing attack here coming from Sinclair. This is from so far out though. Can he actually hang on to this? We're going to hold on to the replay for that one. Cart right now closing it right on down and then backs off though. Perhaps his teammate here making sure that it doesn't get closed down too quickly. But Cart right catches Sinclair. Seven watts for Carol Gun, but here comes Young the Python. Let's give him a ride on. Does the Python have the effort though? But it's going to be Turnstrom. Turnstrom out of Denmark here. The Danish legs letting us know they got the power. Timing it perfectly on the flat with the speed. All about that flat section of the course, but no longer having an arrow power up. And Young, the Python, Innovation across the line. What an effort there from Innovation. And Turnstrom had 14 to give still, but got caught out by Steve Young. Innovation showing us how it's done. What an effort there from Steve Young. He came perfect timing as soon as it hit that final kick. Waiting and waiting and goes flying across the line in first place not even sure what the uh the final uh between all of the riders was there actually let's go ahead and see real quickly uh we can see the attack there uh momentarily actually let's go ahead and see what the attack was like uh between the riders uh over in when when the initial attacks did come through uh, from the KRT rider there, Sinclair. Here he comes on the attack, absolutely pounding to 11 watts per kilogram. So this was the setup here. It looked like to be for Cartwright, actually. Uh, Cartwright follows it up very quickly. The two-second gap is already there, as you can see. Cartwright trying to trying to come across. Does come across, actually, uh, but was unable to hold on to the gap when he does get there. But uh, 7.5 watts per kilogram. Uh, Tim Cartwright there, 9.1 watts per kilogram looking to close things right on down he ends up being the lead out man though for steve young young just hang on the wheel to cart right there just waiting for the moment to pounce as you can see here as he does hang on to cart right's wheel then the moment does come on through as we are seeing turns from there on the attack coming past it looks like stevie young but steve young there now 10 watts per kilogram as you can see about to make his attack there it goes into 13 watts per kilogram and it was all said and done as the speed is coming on and Young there, just what an extra watt per kilogram or so, 13, 14 for a second. Turnstrom tries to respond right at the line, had it, but did not have that arrow power up and comes across the line for the W. What an effort there all around between all the riders. Absolutely amazing, amazing race there between the men and the women out there today. Let's go ahead and take a look at the results as uh, we can go ahead and bring those in here just a moment here for the men's and the women's race. We actually did not uh, set up for this early on, so you're going to just have to look at Nathan here in the Zwift Community Live broadcast studio for just a moment as we do bring uh, these on in. But it is going to be for the women's race. Um, as you can see here, it is going to be... Kristen Falk looks like, followed up by Cassie Baldy, Lucy Collins, and then Penny Priest, Claire Reed, and then Kirsty Hole on the day for the women's race. Amazing result there for the women. For the men's race, uh, it does look like, or, well, it is a, actually, we should be calling it the an open race uh, because uh, it is open to um, anybody to join. But uh, for the men's race on the day, uh, for the results, it does look like we did have uh, not exactly. We need to actually uh, change up our positioning here and zoom right on in and uh, move it right on over. But it is going to be Stevie Young there from Innovation, as you can see. Uh, Torben Turnstrom. And then it will be Adam Zimmerman across the line, actually. You missed that. Mike Davis there, uh, followed up by Michael Dam, Soren Bay, and then Break Berg and Simon Nielsen coming across the line for that Fusion Esports cycling team still making their known. But, man, Steve Young never won the Python one that you want to mess with when it comes to the sprint time things. Actually, that, that sprint from young was not just strong it was tactical uh very very well done waiting for the perfect moment allowed turnstrom even to turnstrom to even get away off the front momentarily and then went ahead and had the perfect time with that arrow power up. it was all about the patience and the power on the day for innovation let's go ahead and see what the chat is saying there mo for just a mo minute before we do take off on the day i do appreciate everybody who did show up for the broadcast today it was a lot of fun having 
um, everybody here, as well as the uh, awesomeness of the focus on the women's race out there today. Uh, really, really cool. Uh, the sponsors love this. Lewis didn't say, what are we talking about, Lewis? Up next to next broadcast, Steve. Uh, go over say it here. I got to look through all of this, all of this. No teleporting tonight, Zimmerman. Unleash the pythons. That one is for wingman James Phillips. I love the comments coming here from the riders, actually. Um, I absolutely love the community is amazing. Everybody knows each other. And uh, there's definitely a lot of back and forth between the racers. Uh, great sprint there, young boy, coming from him. Not sure I get what KRT was doing. Slingshot and Cartwright. Chris, I'm not sure either. I think that might have been what was going on, actually. Looking to get that there. We'll have to uh, maybe get a little bit from the uh, team there let us know uh, appreciate all the cheers and kudos there about the broadcast really enjoyed having everybody show up we'll try and make this a weekly thing for the ladies only race so if you are looking to uh jump into a women's specific race and broadcast make sure to keep eyes on this place we'll be looking to every week have this as much as we possibly can barring any other um, events that might come up and then we'll just change the date on it but we will be looking to have a women's specific uh, race broadcast uh, at least once a week so thanks everybody for chilling uh, Rebecca Wysiak it was great to have you out there today uh, you know absolutely awesome Ben, cool to watch Ben Hill finish after I'd been dropped. Rebecca, uh, actually, I was I was looking at the name there and seeing the country flag, and I was wondering about that. So, uh, solid solid sprint there for Ben as well. And thanks a lot for uh, jumping into the race out there today. It was a lot of fun having you out there today, and solid result for there, or at least working together for uh, you and Chris out there today. That's gonna be it for me. Thanks everybody for tuning in. If you haven't done so already, make sure to hit that follow button either on Twitch, YouTube. Uh, or Facebook. Uh, and if you are watching on Facebook, there's a little follow that you can do that gives you a notification anytime that we do go live. Our broadcast schedule is always going to be at the top of our Twitter or our Facebook page pinned to the top of the page. So if you're looking for the broadcast, make sure to check that out. Next up will be Jesper Anchor tomorrow morning, bright and early with the grand grind fondo presented by Dirt and Draft. That's Dad's Indoor Riding Trainer Team? Riding Indoor Trainers team. I absolutely love that team name, actually. And Draft putting that together. Uh, solid uh, effort by them putting together that grind fondo. So they'll be, brought, Jesper will be broadcasting that tomorrow morning. And then we will also be having the Team Dimension Data race, uh, Zwift Academy race tomorrow, uh, up and over the top of Alp Duez, or Alp de Zwift, I should say. Uh, that's going to be a huge event. We'll be broadcasting that on Zwift's Facebook page, uh, the official Zwift. Zwift's Facebook page, so make sure to be watching out for that. All right, that's it for me, uh, the long-winded Nathan. Thanks, everybody, for showing up out there today, all the viewers, and great job to all the racers. As always, right on.